Hello everyone, I'm Harry, welcome to my channel, and today we're going to look at the Torpedo Captor X by Two Knights. So before we get started, if you like this demo video at any point, please leave a like, comment and subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot, and that way it won't miss out on any of my future uploads. There's going to be affiliate links down in the description to every piece of gear I use in this video, and to record my videos. These really do help support the channel out further, so I'd really appreciate if you go and check them out. So first and foremost, the Two Nights Torpedo series is a world-renowned attenuation and or impulse response load and reactive load. This time we've got it all in a really small package, and a much more affordable package with some cool extra features as well. Well. The whole point of a reactive load is it's supposed to mimic the interaction between the tube amp and an actual speaker so your amp feels like it's actually seen a real speaker and you get a much more realistic recorded tone as a part of that. On the capture rates itself you can attenuate to 20 dB or 38 dB. Now the thing that's really cool about two night stuff is that they actually have dynamic impulse responses where you're actually able to tweak the microphone position on and off axis as well as distances which is a really big step in impulse responses because most impulse responses are just a snap shot of a mic in a certain position on a certain speaker and you get all this by using the torpedo remote that allows you to deep dive into all these settings use loads of different cabs loads of different mics loads of different positions of those mics and even other things that we'll discuss in this video so it has two xlr outputs so you can either run the pedal in true stereo dual mono or wet dry and you also have post effects options like a five band eq an enhancer to really sculpt the end sound and a bunch of different reverbs to get a great reverb tone and the capture rates you also have some great new features like the twin tracker which simulates double tracking guitars which is really cool for live if you want to widen your sounds a little bit or even for recording because famous bands have used automatic double tracking in the past and of course you can actually save six presets into the Capture X itself or more via MIDI so on the front of the Capture X you have an output level a voicing control a space for the reverb an in level which sets the input level for low and high depending on what wattage amp you're using there's also a headphone out so you can play your tube amp through this use the simulated cabinets and just practice through headphones as well as the six-way preset switch you also have the light on the front which is white when the signal is good going in and when it's clipping it'll show red so you can adjust the input level on the back you have the left and right the xlr outputs with the ground lift and then the three attenuation stops as well which is really cool as well as the speaker out if you do want to run this into a speaker and use the attenuator built in as well as the speaker in then you have a midi in and a usb for controlling the software so it's a really feature packed unit you can use it just as an attenuator you can use it as an ir loader and run the xlrs into an interface or to front of house live which is really killer and now we're going to get into the main demo and look at the software which really unlocks the torpedo capture x so for this video we're going to actually use two amps we're going to use my cornell plexi which is a really loud plexi amp which can be unruly at times but using something like the capture x really shows it off well then we use my Sky King for some more cleaner times as well. So looking at the software, as you can see, we've got the Torpedo remote set up now. We have a typical 4x12 cabinet that I've just loaded up. Up here, you can see you can change the cabinets. There's a bunch built in, but you can access tons on the two notes library as well. They have loads of different cabinets, different speaker choices and everything like that. So the post effects, we have an EQ section, which is really great because you can have a guitar, bass, or even custom. And custom will allow you to really tweak which frequencies you want to adjust we'll leave it on the guitar for now we have an enhancer with a dry wet control guitar slash bass switch and a body thickness and brilliance this is just to kind of sculpt the finished product and get it really where you want it then we have the reverb section with a dry wet control room slash ambient switch size echo color and width and then you have loads of different types of reverb that you can use like spring reverb plate studio reverbs and room reverbs along the bottom we have a noise gate which is really cool because especially with high gain amps, it could be a bit unruly. So it's really nice to have that in. You have a threshold control and a soft and hard and even a learn switch if you want to use that. Here you have your two mics. So you have mic A and mic B. Right now I've got a ribbon 121 and we'll put a dynamic 57 on because that's kind of like a classic combination. Then you've got the level controls for each. You can mic the front or the back of the speaker. It makes sense with open back cabs. Then you have the axis and distance, which you can control with these pots or you can just move the mic around yourself like you can see. Then we have an output left and right together because we're running in stereo. Then here's the twin tracker with the balance and tightness, which we'll look at after. Space, voicing, and output for the overall level. So that's pretty much it. But now you can actually also have your own IRs and blend two IRs together, which is really cool as well if you don't want to use the two night stuff. But I personally think the two night stuff's the way to go because you can really tweak the mic distance and everything like that. But that is an option if you want it. Then you have the cabinet manager where you can see all your things and the presets that you can save and an IR manager as well. So let's get straight into some sounds. So again, we're on the British Vintage C cabinet with a Royal 121 and a Dynamic 57 because that's a classic combination. <laughs>
well, that was a quick blend, but you can adjust each. We'll mute the ribbon mic for now and we'll just adjust the 57 so you can see and hear exactly what it does and how it reacts just like it would if you were using an actual mic. <laughs> classic mics but as you can see for each impulse response we actually have different mics so we have nightfall so why don't we go through and check some of those out so let's go to one mic just so we can hear all the differences start with nightfall <laughs> all the different mics for the guitar obviously you have two bass mics down there as well let's go back to the classic setup and then look at some of the post effects as well and then we'll look at some more of the cabs so classic setup i like the ribbon kind of right on the grill the 57 there <laughs> The ribbon's kind of 
kind of giving you all that bottom end and the 57 is kind of giving you the mid range and the presence as well. It's really biting. And the cool thing about having mics and being able to move them the seasons late is you can kind of EQ your guitar sound just with mic placement, like what many people do in the studio. So let's look at some of the post effects. So we have an EQ section and the EQ parameters change on the guitar, bass, and then custom that you can have to take exactly where you want. But let's have a look at the, the EQ for the guitar section. So again, As you can see, you can really tweak the final sound a bit more. Now we have the enhancer section, which allows you to add a little bit of body, a bit of thickness and a bit of brilliance. So without. <laughs> polished guitar tone. Now we have the reverb section where we can add a bit of room or ambiance. So let's start with Studio A, so without. But we have tons here, we have Studio A, Studio B, Basement, Loft, Hall throughout the hall.
it's something like an old Marshall style arm that has no reverb. It's really cool that you can add this via the torpedo. So let's go back to Ring Reverb and try out some of the different cabinets. This is really cool because you can get loads of different sounds because the speaker cabinet is kind of a big, big part of the equation for the final guitar tone. If anything, it's kind of more important than the amp itself. But I was just using a vintage Marshall style cab because I'm using a vintage Marshall style amp. But you can really use any amp with any of these and get loads of different tones as well. So let's go through some of them. We'll leave the mics as they are because it's such a classic setup. <laughs> So we checked out pretty much all the cabs with a dirty amp and some of them aren't super suited for a dirty amp like the clean combos. So I thought it'd be good to plug in the Sky King to give us more of a clean time that we can check out with some of like the Fender style combos and so on. So if we go down to the list, we can start with some of the 1x12 so Blues Deluxe style amp. <laughs> Thank you. 
Have some blackface style cleans. Let's go to some tweed style drive now on the Time King and see how that sounds going through some of the cut. <laughs> So as you can see, different amps suit different cabs more, but there's nothing stopping you from experimenting and using all the different cabs. Again, this is just what you get with the Captor X, but they have so many different cabs and speaker types on their website, as well as the opportunity to actually load in your own IRs if you'd like. <laughs> So there we have it, that was a look at the Torpedo Captor X from Two Notes. Again, primarily an attenuator, a reactive load, and an impulse response loader, giving you loads of different options for your loud tube amps fiver at home. Headphones practice, live, live rig sound if you want to send these cabinet sounds to the front house or even recording which is what i would do personally because i don't play out but it's a really killer option to give you loads of different options to give you loads of different options for sounds and an ease of use thing you don't have to mess around with speaker placement you can play move play straight away and hear your recorded sound as well as being able to have two mics and loads of different features like the twin tracking the post eq the enhancer and and all the different reverb type and all the different reverb types as well. Of course, you've got the six presets on the front that you can save for live use, and then the different stereo options like stereo, dual mono, and even wet dry. But let me know down in the comments what you thought of the Torpedo Capture X by two nights, and if you've got to check one out for yourself. Again, there's going to be affiliate links down in the description to every piece of gear I use in this video and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out further, so I'd really appreciate if you go and check them out. If you did like this demo video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot, and that way you won't be starting into my future uploads. Other than that, go onto my channel, check out some of my playlists. I have plenty more lessons, covers, gear demos, how to sound like videos, and anything guitar related. As always, I've been Harry, and thanks for watching.